What? We are gonna get plunder to 310 out of 10. Oh my god, I'm just <laughs> you what's going on, my beautiful governors? Welcome to a new Rise of Kingdoms video. Today, you asked for it, I delivered it. We will discuss the best way to upgrade Season of Conquest, updated Season of Conquest technology step by step. Which technologies you should upgrade first? What are the differences between a free-to-play, a low spender when you are upgrading your technology? We will talk about all of that. This is going to be a long one, but a good one. Side note, usually I have chapters on my video, so you can just jump whichever you part you're interested. But for this one, we won't have chapters because in my opinion, you need to watch from the start to the end to understand it everything correctly. Without further ado, let's start discussing Neve Crystal Technology. Spartans! What is your profession? Shout out to Kingdom 1093 and Silent Flow. Thanks to them, I'm able to bring you guys this incredible Season of Conquest technology guide. With the addition of this Trial of Kao Karuak and this loose and screw type of crystal technology, it is so much easier to get crystals and upgrade your crystal tech. For very low spenders, if you are wondering what should you spend on, the best one is, in my opinion, still the premium season crystal supply. And this is the second best one. For only $15, you are gonna get a lot of crystal. Like, it is crazy. I may purchase it at some point because this is just so much value. I haven't decided yet, but if you want to spend that extra, this is the best second purchase. And when it comes to your Crystal Mine Plus Crystal Research Center, for free to place, what you need to do is get your Crystal Mine to 25 as soon as possible. This should be the first thing that you need to spend your crystals on day one immediately get it to 25 and your crystal research center only upgrade it when it's needed because when you need to upgrade certain technologies it requires you to upgrade your crystal research center first so for that only upgrade your crystal research center when you have to when you're gonna upgrade a technology but it doesn't let you the game tells you to upgrade your crystal research center this is the only time that you should do it for most gain on day one what you need to do again, as a free-to-play, as a low spender, before doing any Bastion quest. If you guys didn't know, if it's going to be your first KVK, a Season of Conquest KVK, we have Bastion quests, 15 per day, and they give you crystals and all that good stuff. Before you do any of that, what you need to do is upgrade your, your economic technology as much as you can. And what I mean by economic is something like treaties, which increases the crystal earned by completing Bastion quests or cultural exchange which increases the favor you gain from completing bastion quests so for maximum amount of gain on day one you don't want to do your bastion quest immediately you want to get this as high as you can these two and then you can start doing your bastion quests by the way my technology tree a little bit messed up right now because this is a weird kvk our opponents decided not to fight until this day like we have 20 days left so i tried new things i kind of messed around uh, so don't mind my, my tree. I'm going to give you guys the best one, the most optimal one. The first thing you want to do is get all these four to level one. Quench plays, improve bows, combat tactics, and projectiles. Get all of them to level one. And then get your Sith marching to level three. After that, larger camps to three. And then skillful operation to five. But if you're a complete free-to-play, what you should do is before skillful operation five... Get your treaties and cultural exchange to four, both of them, and then go for skillful operation five out of five. After that, what you need to do is attack formation one. Just unlock it. Don't go for plunder or Karaku reports. Get these four to level one. As you can see, I have this one at level one, this one at level one, just to unlock further progression. And then we are going to go swift marching three out of ten. And after swift marching, what we are trying to do is to get to this skillful operation again, because skillful operation reduces the number of crystal used to complete research at the crystal research center. So it's going to reduce all that crystal cost for every single uh, technology research. So what we're going to do is we're going to get marching orders to one, and then immediately we will just unlock the first eight, because once we unlock first eight, so it's going to be one out of ten, we can get skillful operation to 7 out of 10. So we are going to get swift marching to 3, marching orders to 1, first aid to 1, and skillful operation to 7. By the way, guys, if you think any of the information was useful or helpful so far, 
please hit the like, please hit the subscribe. It helps the channel more than you think. Thank you, and now let's keep going. Again, just like we did previously, before you go for skillful operation as a complete free-to-play, you can first get your treaties and cultural exchange to 7 to increase the crystals that you are going to get from doing the bastion quests on, of course, increase the favor. So if you're complete free-to-play, get these two to 7 and then go for skillful operation. If not, just do all of them because right after skillful operation, we're just going to go back to treaties and cultural exchange anyways. So you got your skillful operation, treaties and cultural exchange 2 to 7 out of 10, all of them. And then we are going to get marching orders to 3 out of 10. After we get marching orders 3 out of 10, we are going to get plunder 2, 3 out of 10. And after that, immediately we go for 6 out of 10 call to arms. Now in here, we are going to have two different paths. The first one for complete free to play. Once you get your call to arms to 6, what you can do is you can just unlock anything you can. Try to progress as far as you can on the skill tree, which means after this one, you're going to get all of them to 3, then unlock swift marching, get special medicines as high as you can, get your call to arms as high as you can, get your improved morale, special medicines as high as you can. Try to progress as far as you can in the tree. Now, if you are not a complete free to play, if you are spending a bit, the path is different. What we're going to do is this. After we get our call to arms to 6, we will go all the way back to Vortec 1, level 1 Vortec, and get all of them 5 out of 5. And then we are going to max out our swift marching, treaties, cultural exchange. Then what we're going to do is we will immediately jump to treaties 2 and cultural exchange 2. We will get them to level 8. And then we are going to do the same thing. We will get all of these to 3. Swift marching to 1. By the way, if you are fighting hard, you can also unlock special medicines 1 and special medicines 2 on the way. It's completely up to you. It's, it depends on if you are fighting or not on the open field. And if you are, definitely upgrade these two as high as you can on the way. But we are going to skip them for now. What we're going to do is after swift marching, we are going to get marching orders 5 out of 10, call to arms 2 out of 10, and improve morale 2 out of 10. Then again, we will go all the way back to first attack formation. This one, now we will get this one, 3 out of 10. Now, once you reach this point, once you get your attack formation to 3, we have two different ways. First one is the guide, which will focus on upgrading Vortex 2 to 10, these 1 to 10. However, if you are low on crystals or if you are completely free to play, then you could upgrade your Vortex 2 to 9 and then immediately go for Vortex 3 to 6 for whichever troop type you are using. For example, I'm an infantry main, so what I did is after my quenched blades, 10 out of 10, because this gives infantry attack, I immediately move to this one, quenched blades 3, to get as many stats as possible. Now, after this one, attack formation 3, we want to get every single one of these to 9. As I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys missed that, my tree is kind of messed up because this was a weird KVK and this was our first ever updated season of Conquest KVK, so I kind of messed up with my tree but the guide is completely optimized. So this is the guide that I'm going to follow for the next KVK. So don't mind my tree. After that, getting this attack formation to three, we are going to get every single one of them to nine. All these four to nine. And after that, after getting all these to nine, we are going to go back to first aid one and max it out, five out of five. Then we will go to marching orders one. We will get it to five out of 10. Then we are going to get first aid two to eight out of 10 and skillful operation two Again, 8 out of 10. We are going to go for a bit of Kahar technology so we can upgrade the number of crystals that we're going to get from killing Kahar. We are going to get Plunder 1 to 5 out of 5. Barbarian Reports 1, 5 out of 5. Barbarian Reports 2, 8 out of 10. And Plunder 2, 8 out of 10. And then we are going to get our attack formation from 7 out of 10. And after doing that, we are just going to max out every single Vortec Step 2. Improved bows, quench blades, combat tactics, and improved projectiles. We are going to get all of them to 10 out of 10. And after we do that, we are going to get our swift marching and marching orders both to 7. As you can see, for me to do that, I need to get both of these to 10. So we need to upgrade these two. We will upgrade it very soon. We are going to get both of these to 7 out of 10. And call to arms 1 
to 9 out of 10. You don't need to go for call to arms 10 out of 10, it will come later. Just leave it at 9 out of 10 at this point. After call to arms, what we need to do is to get every single Vortex 3 to 7 out of 10, so we can get our Swift Marching and Special Medicines to 7 out of 10, and also we will get our Marching Orders too, again 7 out of 10. After that, you can either go for call to arms 6 out of 10, or improved morale 9 out of 10 it completely depends on you you can go for both it doesn't matter and for special medicines you can get your special medicines to 9 out of 10 and special medicines 1 to 10 out of 10 but it depends one thing are you using t5 or t4 in the field if you are using t4 this is completely wasting uh, crystals you can upgrade other things but if you are using t5s this will come really handy. You can get this one to, as I said, 9 out of 10. And this one, 10 out of 10. It actually helps out with the healing cost a lot if you're using T5. But if you're using T4s on the field, you can completely skip these two for now. If you manage to progress thus far, you are doing great as a free-to-play, as a low spender. And the rest of the guide, the rest of the crystal technology upgrades are kind of pretty straightforward. So I will just uh, leave that in the top pinned comment. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Try this skill tree upgrade. Try this crystal technology upgrade in Rise of Kingdoms on your next Season of Conquest KVK. And if you want to know some tips and tricks about Season of Conquest in general, you can watch this video right here. I see you guys on that one. Thank you for watching. Bye.